I have a question for you. <laughs> what in the world, what in the world are you doing in this world? Why are you even on this planet? Now, I say that lightly, but it is a deep question that we all wrestle with, and I wrestle with it again and again on different levels. Lately, I've been reading through the Bible, and I was reading through Deuteronomy 8 just today, and it was talking about how Israel had gone through 40 years of desert life and of life with, I mean, brutal challenges of water and food. There's snakes, there's scorpions, all kinds of stuff. And what Moses describes to them it, from God's perspective is that the reason for that was that really hardship reveals the heart. And what he wanted, what God wanted the people of Israel to to learn was that we don't just live by what we see and experience by food and bread or uh, clothes. What we live by actually is God's perspective. What God wants to do is to have us discern his voice or his understanding, or I like to describe it as his perspective. That's what life is really about. <clears throat> It goes on to say in that chapter that he is the one who gives us the ability to create wealth in our lives. Well, what is that for? Is wealth for us to enjoy? Yes. But what's it really for? What are our lives really for? They are to understand God's perspective and to then live it, implement it in our lives. And in so doing that, as we do that and it creates wealth, it kind of confirms or testifies to the reality of God's perspective and his desire to show mercy and to include us in relationship with him. So what I want you to think about today is that really God's perspective on life and his placement of you in life, whether it's hardship or whether it is producing great wealth, is all the same. It's to understand his perspective, to live in response to him, and to demonstrate who he is. Now, we've all been given uh, unique expressions of who God is. And I actually, that's what I've given my life. That's kind of like my mission. My purpose in life is to help others clarify their purpose in life. And towards that end, I have a free gift for you if you want. It's a, I think it's an 11-page PDF, and it's four key steps to be fruitful. And that can help you clarify your purpose in life so that you can understand his perspective for you and demonstrate your purpose in this life. I think you might find it beneficial, and I want to resource you if I can. So if you'd like it, click the link below, or you can go to getclearandfocused.com. Getclearandfocused.com, and you can receive that free PDF that I think will be helpful. Have a great day, and know that you are in this world with purpose. Just walk in it. Bye-bye.